Hey guys, it's uh, Morgon 60 here, Kevin. Um, I have an installment of the 70s Revisited. Got a stack here uh, that I uh, want to show you. Right here. So, uh, some of these were bought yesterday up in Fargo. A lot of these are uh, Discog buys. So, anyway. Uh, some of these I bought at the Vinyl Giant. Uh, some guy br had brought in his collection of 1,100 albums. And uh, there were a few in there that I wanted to get, but when I went up there, they were gone. And But I did pick up a few albums that were in really good shape. Uh, I, unfortunately, and fortunately, this is... Uh, this first one here, Almond Brothers Live in Fillmore East. Uh, I've never come across a cover as in great shape as this. Of course, it is a gatefold. Unfortunately, uh, when I was looking at it, I only pulled out one album. It's missing one album. This is a uh, Canadian pressing on uh, the Pink Capricorn label. So it kind of made me mad when I was kind of going through this, but uh, maybe I can get uh, a second album from this. So, but uh, anyway, all my brothers live at Fillmore East. Uh, I don't come across this very often in this good a shape as well. Also bought up at. Uh, vinyl Giant yesterday uh, trying to amass all this band's material on vinyl and I'm talking about Wishbone Ash and uh, this is Live Dates which came out in 73 on MCA Records this is a gatefold of course so uh, yeah um, and I'm Trying to think here. Anyway, um, just thinking a little bit here. Anyway, so I'm glad I uh, picked this up. Uh, some live wishbone ash, from '73. Uh, this one here is not a '70s release, but a '60s release. Um, some pop psych. This is from 1968. This is an original pressing. A uh, band was called Orpheus. And uh, they had one single or a hit single, uh, Can't Find the Time to Tell You. Uh, pop psych album. Uh, decent cover. Uh, I gotta say the guy who had, the guy's collection was in really really good shape. The vinyls are absolutely uh, next or close to mint. That's how good they are. That's how good that guy took care of his collection. Uh, again, this is on MGA MGM Records from '68. Band called Orpheus. Um, I when I came across this, I was absolutely floored. Uh, I wouldn't say the cover is mint, but it's damn close. Uh, and I never come across this particular band's album, this one for in particular, talking about uh, 10 years after in Stonehenge. I believe this came out in 71, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's on the Durham record label. This is. Um, Let's see here. Let's see. This is also a gatefold. And uh, <clears throat> trying to get a lot of the older material that are in decent shape. Uh, this one is absolutely phenomenal. Again, the vinyl is in near mint condition. Uh, so, anyway, here is uh, 10 years after in Stonehenge. Um, 
Also from the 60s. I think this is the last one I had that was from the 60s. Uh, this is still in the shrink. And it'll tell you how much it was back in, I believe this came out in 68 as well. The band was called The Fifth Estate. And right up here, 99 cents for this back in the day. Uh, this has uh, the song Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead. Another pop psych album. Uh, but, I mean, In the Shrink still, an original. Uh, so I'm happy to get this. Normally I take the shrink off of these, but I'm going to leave it on this one. Anyway, the fifth estate. And this is a second press of this band's material. I don't ever see this. In fact, I was shocked that I even seen this. Uh, but I'm talking about uh, Vanilla Fudge and the beat goes on. This is damn near, uh, it's a hard cover album here or, or outer. It's like a book, book cover. And uh, this came out in uh, 68. Of course, this has the classic lineup uh, Vince Martell, Carmen Apice, Tim Bogert, and Mark Stein. But uh, it's a gatefold, glossy cover. Has the rent, the original inner sleeve that's in mint condition. And it's on the purple and brown Atco label. Again, this has to be from that guy's collection that he brought in and sold. Uh, vinyl's in mint condition. I'd say this cover is VG plus plus. Almost well, you it, it could almost classify it as mint for how good it is. But uh, anyway, I picked this up. Um, I don't come across these, or this particular self-titled album from this band. I do have this, I decided to pick it up. Maybe if somebody is interested in a trade, but I picked up uh, the first debut album of Yesterday and Today, of course. First two albums, they were called Yesterday and Today. This one and struck down. This came out in uh, 1976 on uh, London Records. Of course, it has Dave Manichetti, Joey Alves, Phil Kenmore, and Leonard Hayes, the classic lineup. Later, they became Y and T. So this is probably up for trade. So anybody interested, let me know. Um. This is kind of more of a folk, poppy folk album. This was also a 60s album. This came out in, uh, I believe, 67, if I'm not mistaken. This is my second find from uh, this band. Uh, <clears throat> again, the cover is in absolutely, I'd say, mint shape. Again, this is probably another one from his record collection. I'm talking about Henry Spring. And, uh, Again, pop folk album, gatefold. Um, but yeah, just some great stuff here. It's on the DECA label. Uh, division of uh, MCA has the original inner sleeve. So yeah, some uh, Kendry Spring. I believe, it was, I believe this was about 68, 69, right in there. So, anyway, this is another find up at uh, Vinyl Giant. Mostly what I had showed were all Vinyl Giant finds yesterday. Uh, there were a couple others, but those are newer releases in the 80s I did not show. And then I, uh, these are going to be a mix match of uh, either uh, Discogs or Rock and Roll and this is a Rock and Roll album. The band is called Snakes and the album New Light and uh, classified as New Rock 
they have a couple albums out. Um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see what year this came out. I believe it was about 76 this came out. But here's the back. Here's the front. It is on... Uh, This is an import, it's a German import. It's on the cane, cane label. So I'm happy to pick that up. Uh, I've been buying a lot from Rock and Roll. Um, this is one of them. Um, I've been looking for the other one. I wish I would have picked it up when I was buying this one. The other one is kind of not there anymore. Hopefully they'll get another copies in there, but I'm not sure. This is in their original. Just some 70s hard rock. And uh, if you hang on a minute here, I got want to get these all together. Anyway, guys, I've been kind of focusing focusing in on mostly buying a lot of 70s, 60s releases uh, over a lot of newer metal releases right now. Um, I just find it uh, unbelievable what's back there from the 70s that uh, I wasn't able to get in here. Um, and thanks to uh, Discogs and eBay and YouTube, um, I'm able to get a lot of this stuff. And uh, but I had I got three copies of these, and each of them have their own, uh, I guess. Cover ver not variation, but uh, how the covers are, and I mean, like I picked up two of these, three of these actually. The one that picked up two of these, uh, status quo. If you can't stand the heat, uh, let's see here. From '78, uh, everything hinges on the vinyl conditioning, but uh, yeah, I uh, I've been on a huge huge status quo kick and I picked up two of the three of these actually um, the only thing I do dislike about this is the album goes in the bottom sleeve here which I do not like I gotta fix this one so uh, which it goes in the bottom here I don't like albums like that I don't know who was thinking about it, but uh, anyway, but anyway, it's a gatefold. Of course, status status quo has been around since the late '60s, over 50 years. So uh, anyway, picked up the status quo. And then, I had picked up, this is an original, an OG on the Capitol label, from 77, uh, and this is Status Quo Live, it's got uh, the cover in the back, have got this film over it, which is actually kind of nice, uh, makes it really a glossy looking cover. Yeah, and uh, but anyway, this is a gatefold as well. Uh, a live one from '77, so I'm happy to pick that one up. And then I picked up a repress of uh, Status Quo Ma Kelly's Greasy Spoon. 
originally released in 1970. Uh, the first one was released in 69. Of course, it has pictures of Match Stick Men on it. Uh, I'm looking for that one. Uh, I'm looking for a decent copy. I haven't been able to come across any. Uh, but anyway, this is a repress of uh, their second album, uh, Mark Kelly's Greasy Spoon. Then I picked up. Now hear this. Um, not exactly sure of the year, but also some status quo. These are some that you really don't see uh, in used record shops very much. But uh, anyway, I picked up this one here. I'm trying to figure out a year of this one. Actually, this is 1980, so we're just a year off of the 70s, which is okay, I guess. It's on the Riva label. So, I'll let it pass. And, uh, but... Anyway, so not from 1980, so status quo. Now hear this. And then I picked up uh, two copies of this. Um, one covers better than the other um, as far as where this one is a bit more um, and uh, but the vinyl I believe is a little bit better than the other one and of course this is a promo copy yeah let's see the vinyl is in like mint condition so uh, great stuff here So, uh, like I say, this cover is a little beat up, but the vinyl is good. Uh, this one was released, I believe, in, I think it was about 72, 73, actually. And uh, we're getting into that era of uh, status quo, which, which was their best era. Of course, we... But, the lineup, of course, is Francis Rossi, Richard Parfit, Alan Lancaster, and John Coughlin. Of course, Francis and Richard are still in the band. And again, this is a beat-up cover. The edges are kind of wore out here. But the vinyl is in mint condition, whereas this cover is in very good condition, with the exception of this piece right here that's been peeled off. And I think I can fix it, but uh, we'll see here. And uh, the vinyl here, this one I believe does not have the, in yes it does, it does have the insert. Uh, this one, the vinyl is all, this is also a problem. Um, and actually both vinyls are in the same condition, about mint. So, I will be getting rid of this other one here. This is probably the one I'll be keeping for myself. And then this one will probably be traded. Anyway, status quo with, oh, with Hello, called uh, Status Quo England's number one boogie band. And then of course I picked up this one here. This is an 80s game, but I'm going to lump it in with the 70s quo. Uh, and uh, this was released in 82. This is back to back. Covers in nearly mint condition. And uh, 
the vinyl. This is on the vertical label. Vinyls in mint. I mean, there's, it, it doesn't even look like this has ever been played. There's the, the inner label there. I mean, there's so much great status quo music out there. Uh, I just don't think in this day and age people really, really don't give them a chance. They're coming out with a new one uh, here, but I believe it's going to be released in September. Uh, I've been picking up a lot of their newer stuff that has been released on vinyl. Uh, a lot of the 90s uh, stuff is not on vinyl. I wish it was, or I hope it's going to be re-released on vinyl, but you can pick it up on CD. So anyway, those are what I have for uh, the status quo. Uh, now these are bands also from the from the 70s uh, this is a repress um, from 69 the band is called Quatrain and uh, it is a gatefold edition here at the back here's the front here's the inside gatefold edition here if I'm not mistaken, I swore there was a seven inch with this, but I don't see it in here. No, I don't. I could have swore there was, but it's a re release on Sunday's records. Of course, here is uh, the inner liner notes. Uh, this is a uh, this is originally released on Tetragram Records. Of course, uh, Deep Purple is on that label. And, uh, but anyway, uh, this is a double album set. One album is red, one album is vinyl, or vinyl, orange. Some quatrain. Just some great rock, blues, uh, a little bit of psychic in their uh, rendition here. Could have swore there were uh, seven inches with these. Maybe I'm thinking of a different band, but anyway. It's a quatrain. Now, this is a pickup I picked up from. Uh, a YouTube find. I was watching uh, uh, a compilation of video, a video of bands that were kind of that are great, but really never made it. Uh, these are more. Uh, these are great hard rock psych bands, uh, and this band here is called Short Cross. And uh, let's see, it's hard to read that. The album is called Arising. You could probably put this in uh, what, uh, God, I can't think of his name now. Just watch the video. Uh, anyway, it says recorded loud to be played loud. That's now boogie, but uh, anyway. on the Outsider label, which I think is a really cool label.
These are kind of obscure bands that people really never hear or heard of. Trying to get the liner notes out here. Anyway, short cross. History is on this uh, liner notes here. It is uh, Ben actually goes back to '65. Uh, and uh, God, it, anyway, you, if you buy it, you'd have to read this. But uh, I'm trying to think of who put these guys. Anyway, just a great band here from, uh, I believe they're out of Virginia. Uh, you know, these are bands back in them days that probably only put out one album and they were gone. Um, and it's great to see a lot of these bands are being reissued on vinyl. I think Corey would dig this. Uh, and. Uh, but it was re-released in 2014, originally came out in 1972. Like I said, this is a gate So here is some short cross. Not a bad price either. I paid $20 for this, so it's a very, very good copy. Um, again, so many bands back in them days that never got heard or never got as much exposure as the big bands back in those days. But uh, so I am now researching and going back and picking up a lot of these bands, uh, one and only albums or two and only albums or compilations that they're on and so forth. So anyway, some short cross. Another one in that same area, which was put out by uh, Music on Vinyl. Is a band called Frupp and the album Future Legends. Gatefold. There's the front cover. I like how they kind of blend together. And uh, here is the inner. And uh, original released in 73. Band is out of the UK and uh, just some great stuff here. Music on vinyl, of course, great label. Uh, they go back into the 60s and the 70s as well as the 80s and re-release a lot of this stuff, of course, DMG, Music on Vinyl. And uh, just some great stuff here. Again, along that same vein of hard and heavy from the 70s. Down here, the last few here. Some for up out of the UK from '73. This is a band uh, more progressive rock in nature. Came out in '77 on the Arista label. 
And uh, man, it's called Happy the Man. It's a progressive rock. I believe this is a self-titled album. Here's the front. Here's the back. The inner. And uh, yeah, these. Uh, this is a like I say, uh, progressive rock. This is an OG. Uh, you know. A lot of people say uh, progressive rock or progressive metal really took its hold in the 80s, but uh, uh, no. It actually really was prominent in the 70s among a lot of bands, but again, they just never got any exposure. You know, and these bands only made one or two albums and uh, were gone. And uh, there are a lot of bands out there that are border, border progressive metal, but a lot of them are more progressive rock, and this is one of them, Happy the Man. And I lump this in with the 70s because this band is out of the 70s. Uh, this was actually recorded live in Japan in, uh, I believe it was, 2012, but I put it in because it is a 70s band, and I'm talking about Me Holland and uh, Live in Japan. Great band, of course. Their classic album, Grower of Mushrooms, is a absolutely phenomenal album. A must in everybody's collection. And uh, so, anyway, some live with Eve Holland. Last one here is also lumped in with the bands like Drop and uh, Short Cross. Uh, this band is called Fuse. This is a great album, great album. Definitely uh, put it in a hard and heavy era. Uh, this band. Uh, very young band. Uh, any, they range from 17 to 21. As far as I know, I think they did two albums. Maybe two, three maybe? But anyway, the band's called Fuse. Here's the back. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is this originally came on in 73, 74 in there. Anyway, it's on the yellow Epic stereo label. I mean, the album is, it, it looks like, like it's never been played. Hard and heavy, definitely. Uh, definitely uh, goes out to Corey if you're interested. Look for these. Look for this stuff. Great, unless you have it already, which you you just might. But uh, anyway, this was a cutout or a punch hole. So I I, I just call them cutouts. Um, where uh, record stores kind of. Uh, Put a hole in them, sell them at a cheaper price. Nothing wrong with them, but uh, anyway, some views from about '74. So that is my foray into the '70s again, and. Uh, I definitely will have a, a few more videos coming up. Uh, I've been ordering a lot online. And uh, again, my main focus in buying has been mostly 70s and 60s stuff with some metal newer releases coming out. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you next time on uh, 70s Revisited. And take care and uh, God bless.